Hey guys and welcome back to yet again another FIFA 21 career mode Grimsby to glory episode as we have a bumper pack one today. I am really really enjoying this series so much you can see because I'm holding off other series because I want to get this underway as we are six in the league. I'm going to zoom in show you how important this first game is and then I'll show you the calendars. We play Oldham top of the league if we beat them. We could go top if everything else goes for us. If we don't and we lose, we could go as low as 11th. That's how open this league up. So, if you're enjoying the video already, even though it's like 45 seconds in, smash a like as we have Oldham first. It's a busy month. We have a cup game, the FA Cup against Charlton. That is a huge game. Then Crew Alexandra in the Papa John's with two simulated games. Then, then we'll take the three plus the two episodes right there, or the two games, sorry, into next episode where we have a bit of a transfer window. So yeah, going to split it up. Hopefully you guys like it that way. As we lost the first place Mansfield when they were on top, now it's Oldham. We have this team out with James McEwen in the goal. Hendrick Buckley coming in for Holmes because he's a bit tired with Pollock and Doig. Didn't really want to rotate, but had to with Rose, Hewitt and Clifton Wright, Williams and Martin. So I'm going to show you a stat before we get into the game, which might blow your mind. Yes, because I love this career mode so much. I was skimming the, uh, the couple of players that are in this thing. And look, Kyle Bennett has 19 games and only two goals to his name. That is shocking, a 6.5 rating overall when Martin, yes, he's got lower, but he's played seven games. He's played over, well, 12 games less and only has two goals different and goal contributions are the same. Same as Tilly. He's a permanent player and he's only played four games, one goal, one assist. These two need to go over Bennett now because Bennett, of course, is alone as well. We need to grow our own players here. So hopefully we can just chuck him in the deep end, Martin especially, against top of the league and hope for something good. And let's have a look at this top of the league team. They've got Lawler in there. Hammer, Diara, Perigiani is decent. Bothwick, Jackson's been literally everywhere with Natambwe, Whelan and Grant in the middle with Balambola, Rowe and McCalney. I know Rowe's decent, of course, Bothwick, Jackson, Pierre Gianni. Grant, the captain's quite good as well, so it's going to be a difficult game. Good team. We should be able to take them out with the quality we've got, but then again, it didn't go well against Mansfield, so we've only got to hope for the best. And also, I have picked um, George Williams out of all the strikers. Montel Gibson was very close. Jackson Jr., the same, but we just need to see how it's going to go, as this game hasn't panned out yet. And Pollock running around. They've got a ring round as there. Danny Rowe with the pass forward. They're still on side, although I thought they were off there, as Grant has been tackled. Elliot Hewitt to try and get to it. Can't, though, as Natwambe... Has it in the middle, over to Whelan, don't think that's Glenn Whelan, definitely not, as he's turned the man well though, he's going through the middle well, chip over the top to McCalney, who's trying to come forward on McCalney, as he's put the ball straight in the middle, and it's a big chance for Rowe, takes it first time, which is rather stupid of him, as McEwen was scrambling, but no goal there though. So yeah, Oldham starting off the better on this midweek game at Blundell Park under the lights. Grimsby actually do do well at home under the lights, I think. As here's Max Wright as well. Asked for more playing time, so he's got it ahead of Scannell. As Williams has the ball at his feet, he's got a pass on there to Max Wright. Who's got it back to Williams. George Williams with a chance. Oh, and he's put it wide. Big chance for our striker. We'll put the faith in our number 10 to score. And it's an absolute horrible miss. And it's Balambola coming forward. Oh, my days. It's, it's, it's just back and forth. The new Oldham badge has done this team well. As we've got a tackle in there. It's still falling back to him, though. And it's Rowe. Danny Rowe with a goal. The ex-filed striker was banging them in, in the National League. Joins Oldham and scores at Blundell Park. And we, ju we just couldn't get anywhere near him. Really good skill in the box. It falls him again. We're getting a couple of bounces going to players like that. This bounce as well, and we're on a bit of a rut now. This will be his third defeat in three games if this goes through, and we don't want that happening when we had such a promising start or mid-start to this league campaign. That's a shocker to concede. And Josh Doig, right, we need to try and um, restart this, but it's a poor bit of play. Half an hour in, and we haven't got up and running yet, although that's a good tackle from Danny Rose. onto Williams. Williams with the chance here, and he's put it in the top corner. Don't have to ask him twice. It's a 1-1 instant reply from George Williams, our striker. We're not going down against top of the league without a fight. It's a superb tackle from Danny Rose, our city midfielder, as he puts that top bins as well, George Williams. Definitely got to be our starting striker. He is on flames, and what a finish that is. As it's Cameron Borthwick-Jackson into McAlen. Oh, we've been done there. There's a man free in the middle. Matwambe over to Rowe. He's got a chance for another great save. 
James McEwen really saves his um, business there as Martin as well on the run. Can he get this out to Max Wright? Counter attack. Come on. Quick Max Wright. Keep on going Max Wright. Keep on going. Shot on the angle. Poor. As I can see the referee blowing for half time. Any minute almost in there with um, Buckley as well who stayed forward. Ball over the top and there we go. One apiece at the break at Blundell Park on a Tuesday night against top of the league. Not too bad you know. To say what's uh, gone on recently, that man there scoring a screamer for us, George Williams. But still, improvements definitely to be made. This is a game that seems winnable, but we've just got to take our chances. And it's Martin straight away on the ball. What can he do? Got to run from George Williams there. Could we find him instantly? We can. Right, Max Wright. Good ball over the top from Williams. He could get another assist. Max Wright, top bins. And it is 2-1 instantly in the second half. Max Wright, who we're trying in the first half. The youngster stands on those boards. We like to do a lot of standing on the uh, advertisement boards right there. Max Wright is the latest to do so. What a ball over the top from George Williams. Drops into Max Wright. Blasts it past the keeper. We've scored two absolutely Beautiful finishes in this game as it is 2 1 to us. A lot of tired bodies out there, I think. Maybe changes have to be made as we're connected with the player there. McEwen just has to make a save over Rowe, though. That was a big chance for him as Pollock steps in again. A bit too far for him, though. He's just over dribbled it and it's Rowe again. And it's an easy save. But we've still got to be careful. Oh, and a dearie me. We've just uh, jumped into a tackle and someone has gone down. I don't know who it is, but they are on the floor. Going to have to make the change. Has it got a ball out here? Hewitt gives it out to Max Wright. Wright with a good touch. A ball over the top looking for Clifton. And I'm really concerned about that uh, injury. You know, is Max Wright still going to keep it in? We've got to get whoever it was off. And it was, in fact, Buckley. As you can see, I've put Holmes on and I've put Tilly on the wing for Martin. Just not doing it for me for some reason, that left winger, Martin. He's young, he's quite high rated for the team, but still, he just isn't doing it. As that's a good pass into Clifton, can't get on it. Oh, and it's Keller Dunn, a uh, substitute for Oldham here with the ball. Gives it round to Garrity. As they've made loads of attacking substitutions, it's Rowe, and it's a very, very risky tackle from Holmes. He's just come on, and this could be a red. He's just come on, and off he pops again. Holmes is off. We have an injured centre-back as well. It's not good signs, and of course, the most worrying thing, a free kick in a dangerous position. Oh dear, come on, James McEwen, you've got to do as well here. It's Oldham, it's top of the league. Can you pull out a big save? I'm not going to stand on the line. I'm going to get a man ready to run, though, in James Tilly, as it's going to be Balam Duba, who's been good. No, it isn't. Yes, it is, who lays it off. Absolutely shocking. And Zach Derm, he loves a goal in real life. Coming on for... Um, Danny Rowe there as they've got a chance to come forward. Kayla Dunn, the number 10 again. There's only two minutes left of the 90 as he's got the ball again. There's a man in the middle. No one's marking him. We don't have that centre-back. McEwen with a great save. And he could have just got us the win against the top of the league side. What a save from James McEwen. It's even a run here from Max Wright. Go on, Max Wright. Keep on going. Still Max Wright. He's still got the ball as Max Wright. Keep on going. He's charging all the way. He's got Perugiani on his side. Max Wright still going with the fancy footwork. But referee... You should be blowing your whistle by now, and there we go. It's a late, late save from James McEwen that gets us the win over Oldham. And we could be top of the league with that performance, you never know. And let's have a look how long he's out for us. We've got a centre-back out as well um, with a red card. Oh, and it's three months. He's broke his toe. He played on as well. He wasn't a serious injury by the looks of it. Three months without uh, Keith Buckley there as we've got a man sent off as well as we played Charlton. Oh, my days. And there's only a three-day turnaround until the FA Cup. At least we got the win. At least we got the win. If we wouldn't have got that and we would have played that team going into this game, that would have been dreadful. Because we've had to throw a bit of a, a stringy team here because we just haven't got the players. I mean, we've only just got two centre-backs available and I know they want us to go find the FA Cup I'd rather focus on the league myself and maybe the Papa John's trophy that wouldn't be a decent um accusation if we can win it with McEwen in the net Hendry Idahan comes in with Pollock and Preston so change up the defense a bit with um Hartigan in central midfield spokes and Clifton either side with the Wild Redwoods getting literally one of his first games in a town shirt in the actual season with Jackson Jr and Tilly up front so it's a bit rotated you can see it's a bit rotated but are we going to beat Charlton? I don't have confidence. You never know. We've done well with his rotated sides, but I really don't have confidence, even with the strongest lineup. Oh, we're at a great stadium here at the uh, the Valley, is it? Yeah, I think it is the Valley. Charlton Stadium down in London with Ben Amos in the net, Gunter Oshilaja, Innis Doherty, Marcus Madison, Andrew Shinney, Gilby, Johnny Williams, Smythe and Washington. 
That is a really, really great team. They have gone full strength. They're not playing anyone rotated apart from, like, I think Innis in the defence, but still, he's a lot stronger than our team. And this is going to be a hard one, boys, but we're up for the challenge. We beat Northampton who are in this league. We don't want to be written off. And it's Idahan with the ball here. Gives it to James Tilly. Tilly around the corner to Harry Clifton. We're actually starting off the better here. It's Clifton with a turned pass into Hartigan. Goes for a long ball. What are you doing, mate? And it's Smith on this ball right now. Oh, Charlton are just going to come straight into it, aren't they? Good ball down the line to George Williams. They're going to go for a 1-2. It's going to work for little Georgie as he's got passed as well. Ball into the box. No one near him. And Marcus Madison scores the first within 10 minutes. I've got a feeling it could be a thrashing today if we're not careful. It's a great header as well. A great leap from a... Um, Quite a small player, I think, Marcus Madison. No one marking him. Danny Preston's just ran away from his man. And James McEwen, although he's his best player, stands no chance at that. It's 1-0 to Charlton already. And it's Connor Washington. Back to Shinny. Over the top now to Madison. Madison with a good turn inside. Get that ball. Oh, it's fallen to McEwen. That was dangerous. Edwards tries to put up a fight against Williams, who's just a great player all around him. Into We've got a tackle in there. Hendry, get it out. It's all Charlton now. We started... With like a little five minute break, but nothing since then. However, Edwards is running forward here. Awara Edwards, you haven't played much, mate. Prove why you should. And you don't. We've literally got like a 19 year old and 18 year old in defence as well, which doesn't help. As Washington to make it two here. McEwen with strong hands, but I've really, really, really not got a good feeling about this. We can't even get the ball out of defence. It's back to Smith. Now Williams out to Doherty, the young left back. Get a tackle in there. We've absolutely clattered him and got the ball fairly. Oh, and that's a bad tackle, you know. That's a bad tackle from Duncan Idaho. And this could be a red, you know, for another centre-back. This could be another red. I knew as soon as I committed to that, it was a bit of a bad one. What's going to happen here? Okay, it's a yellow, but it's a free kick for Charlton as well, Duncan Idaho. I was very, very worried for him. It's going to be Madison again. Already scored a goal. Uh, that's just inexperienced showing, I think, there. Marcus Madison! Oh, what a great save, James McEwen. For winning this game, that would be absolutely great. And that overhead kick is failed. And there we go with the ball through to O'Hara Edwards again. And what's happened? No way. It's a penalty. It's handball. I think it's a handball penalty. Oh, Doherty with a bad tackle. I think we've just won a penalty. I had turned handballs on at the start of this season. And it is. That's got to be handball, right? Is it in the box? It is. It's a penalty to us. Oh, my days. I mean, there's no big deal around it, is there? Because handballs aren't really usually in the game. I turned them on at the start of this season. And finally it's paid off. Handballs. Can we get back into the game with it? We can. Jackson Jr. with the penalty. Go to them Grimsby fans. We have not been in the game at all. But a handball inside the box gets us back in it. Oh my days. Jackson Jr. is calm as you like as well. I didn't really focus on the penalty. I was so bewildered with the handball um, shout from the referee. That we've actually got ourselves back level with our second stream team against Charlton. Things you love to see. And there we go, half time. I'd say that's pretty decent to say we haven't been in the game at all. To get back into it through a handball is just so jammy. But something we love to see. Is there any subs I can make? I think I've got Bennett on the bench. I have. I'm going to put Bennett on for Tilly. Yes, I think Awar Edwards has uh, staked his claim in this team. Been brilliant, him. As uh, so we're going to put Bennett on to try and create something a bit more than Tilly would. And we'll keep with that. 1-1 one, one with Charlton. Brilliant. However, as you expect, they're straight back into the string of things. I mean, we did get a goal at a good time before half-time. But kind of not as well. Because you do like a goal, don't you? Um, before the uh, whistle, of course. Just to get a bit of hopes into it. As that's a good pass. Ready for Awara Edwards. Awara Edwards to shoot. That's blazed over. Oh, and that's a great ball over the top to Smith. They could be back in front. And... Uh, didn't last very long, did that lead, did it? It's just about 14 minutes, if that. Oh, that's got me a bit down, that one. That's that's a bit of a bad one to concede. Williams over the top. Pollock's nowhere near. And I don't know what to say. It's expected. It's expected. So there's not much I can really say, but it's another goal for Charlton. And it's 2-1 to them. It's Connor Washington with a good ball to Smith again. Now Madison. Great tackle from Matty Pollock. That's what we love to see. Now 62 rated in this team. Let's go on, Pollock. Run forward. Now he gives it on to Bennett. We've got a good cross. If Jackson Jr. can make a good run here. Jackson Jr. Oh, diving for his fall to Edwards. Oh, and Ben Amos with a save. Really pushing on the door. Oh, and it's straight through to Smith again. They just they just like to go. It's really end to game. Like, really end to end at the moment. That's a dive. Get up. 
as Danny Preston with a great tackle there gives it to Harry Clifton. Clifton through the middle to Hartigan as well. Now it's on to Jackson Jr. who can sprint forward through this gap. Here is Jackson Jr. with a chance. He's not going to sweat. He's going to go himself and hit the crossbar. We have been so unlucky in this game. Get Scannell on now for a bit. Has look at that. Bounces off the top of the bar. And Madison into... I think that's Chucks and Nike on now. As Hartigan's got a chasing game. He's still got past him. Only 10 minutes left now. And if we can hold it at 2-1... I'd be proud of the boys because we have got a really weak team out. Of course, we've still got a chance at getting an equaliser. And we have had the chances to do so, but it's Ben Watson on it now. And yeah, they look like they've seen out the game very smartly. Out wide to Madison as well as we tried to get the tackle in there. Hasn't gone in. It's Shinny in the middle. Back to Madison. In the middle to Chucks and EK. At least it's not Bogle. As it's a goal again for Charlton. And that's us out of the FA Cup. We are not getting to the round of 32 like the board want us to. But we are knocked out in the first round by Charlton Athletic. There's nothing really much to say. It's been a great performance from them. It, it really has. I mean, we've only just got into it from a penalty that wasn't really a penalty. We still had chances. Hit the bar, of course. But... Overall, the dominance has been in their favour, and yeah, we've lost the game. And there we have it. Final whistle. Oh my days, the fans are going mental. That scared me in my ears there, as Charlton have won by three goals to one. I mean, it's only game through to the first, or second round, sorry. Don't get that hyped, as yeah, we've lost the game to a better team. There's no shame in it. I mean, we did do okay for ourselves. We had more shots than them. Jackson Jr. has been a bright spot, but... We don't go through. Ah, oh, well, it wasn't to be, was it? As we do have another cup competition coming up again. It's going to be a league game against the top of the league, an FA Cup game, and a um, Papa John's Trophy game before we simulate them two at the end. As, yeah, Crew Alexander up next. Another team in the league above, but I think we should have a stronger team available for this one. And it is a big cup competition, of course, going into this next round. So, I am going to go full strength. Sorry, Ollie Battersby, who did win the game against Northampton. But you're not going to be in the team because James McEwen is staying there with Hendry. Holmes is back fully fit and um, available, not suspended, with Pollock and Doig at either side of him. Danny Rose is back to that sitting duty with Hewitt and Hartigan in front. Going to give Harry Clifton a rest for the league with Scannell on the right, giving Max Wright a rest. Uh, Martin back on the left with Jackson Jr. who scored the goal up front because we're saving our normal real um, strike force for the league. Because the league is the top priority, but this competition... It's a good round that we're in, so I am going to try and go for it. Full throttle at crew, and maybe we could get what we put in. Well, let's have a look at this crew. Alexandra lineup. Jaska Linen in the net with Johnson, Beckles, Lancashire, Woodthorpe, Wintle, Robbins, Lowry, Dale, Zanzala, and Kirk. I know Lowry and Kirk are very decent in that team. Don't know much about the uh, rest. Beckles, actually, the centre-back. Very strong and very good in the air. So, got to watch out for him, but they've got to watch out for us. We're going to be good. Well, I hope so. Anyway, as uh, the kickoff has been taken, Kyle Alexandra with it. Lowry straight up to Zanzala. I think they've put a bit of a rotated team out. Maybe I should have done the same. I have rotated a little bit, but... Of course, this is a competition that not many teams care of, so maybe we can take advantage of it. And seven minutes in, it does look like Crew's going to be the better team in this half. But we're not going to let them cruise to a victory. As they did get a shot off, blocked by one of our players. Martin at the front post. I want you to get this away. Prove you can play as it's not even gone towards him. It's gone to Hendry instead. Luke Hendry, always fit. Beautiful stamina, this guy, as he gets the ball down the line to Scannell. No defenders closing down on him. Scannell's got a chance here now. Sean Scannell, going to go wide a bit. Now he's going to try and get back inside. A little uh, turn as he's got a uh, finesse on, has he? No, he hasn't really. As uh, Took it too far. And Lowry gives it to Kirk. Now Zanzala again. Can we get a tackle in? We do. Still falling back. Rose is just a superb player in that middle. As it's gone to Hewitt now. Jackson Jr. making a run behind. He's going behind Beckles. Jackson Jr. Prove why you should be in the team. Oh my days. What a shocker of a shot. Jackson Jr. with a chance to score for him. This is pretty wide. That is terrible. Now it's Dale with the ball for them on the wing. I think he's a bit of an old one. I'm unsure though. As Robbins... Has the ball in the middle. Great tackle from Holmes this time as it goes to Doig. Now forward to Hartigan. I don't get how our defence is actually worse than the, the attack. The attack is what's carrying the defence. But it should be the other way around, ratings-wise. As Doig, it was a good rating. Worth over a million now. The run forward gets tackled by Beckles. It's still on to Jackson Jr. Can he score his second chance? He has! Side netting from Jackson Jr. to get us in the lead. 
at Crew, at the Ice Cream Stadium, whatever it's called. I think they've got an ice cream stand. As beautiful, beautiful, beautiful goal to make it 1-0. Across the net, no chance for them. It's a good assist as well from, I think, Hartigan who put it through, didn't he? No, it might have been Martin. I think it was Martin with his first assist or second. As that is a great ball. Jackson Jr. on the angle. He missed the uh, easier shot, but the harder one is putting the side net in. And it's Luke. Hendry here. Yeah, I think he's played almost every game. Same with the uh, Roses. That's a bit of an off touch from him. That's not like him as Zanzala has a chance. Two slide tackles completely scuffed from us. That's a great recovery tackle from Doig as Hendry is going to come forward. Give it to Hewitt. Get on a run through the middle, Jackson Jr. Get on a run as it's a brilliant ball to Jackson Jr. for two and he's got two. Oh my days. What is up with us? We're actually scoring for fun. Great, 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 great goal. I'm saying that a lot this episode. Great, 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 great. As look at that, Jaska Leinen stood no chance, came too far out, didn't get towards the ball. And it looks like Crew, we are the bogey team to Crew. They're the team we like to beat. Of course, we beat them in pre-season, we're beating them here, and they are leagues above us, literally. So we're doing well to beat them. And is it going to be half-time, referee? Come on, don't let them get a chance off. There we go. Right, good half from us. Very good. I mean, it can't even be better, can it? 2-0 away from home against the team in the league above in a trophy competition. Very good. We should get a bit of money for this, I'm hoping, as well. And we can get further and closer to maybe picking up the trophy altogether. It's just a hope at the moment, but you never know. The second half's underway. They've made substitutions. They've took Zanzala off up front. He didn't really look like a decent player to me as well, I'm um, sorry to say. As Martin... Has a run on here. What can Martin do? He's got stuff to prove, this guy, and not that. As here's Robbins. Gives it to Wintle. Wintle trying to get a ball through, but it's a great tackle, Rose. Right, forward. Jackson Jr. is inside of his man. This guy could get a hat-trick like Montel Gibson did the other day. As Go on, Jackson. Go on, Jackson. Cross it this time. Don't be greedy. Danny Rose. Oh, put it in. He does. Oh, my days. What a scruffy goal that is to score. But Danny Rose... Gets his first goal for the club. He has deserved one as well, Hanty. Being a powerhouse in the midfield as it's 3-0 to us. Hit the post with that little header. Then it was a bit of obstruction. We won't talk about that. And it's a great finish. Jackson Jr. Ungreedy header. Flying. Literally, I think I'm balls that, but gets away with it. Jasker Linen's all over the place. They haven't done well at the back at all. And it is 3-0 to the Mariners. And unlike Charlton, this team from the league above just have not put up a wall to block us. It's a scannel with the ball again. Jackson Jr. on to Hartigan to run onto it. Go on, Anthony. Go on. He's on the end of the ball. Can he cross it? Can we get another goal? Hewitt. Oh, it's just bounced off his chest. Oh, and Rose. So it was a lovely tackle from, I think, Hewitt in the middle there. As Jackson Jr. Another chance. He's going a bit out wide this time. Jackson Jr. to whip a ball in. Hewitt. It's not going to come off his chest this time. This is going to absolutely skew it. Coming off of that as well, mate. You're not just... Um, Trying to go for the spectacular here. Don't be funny with me. No funny business as Clifton replaces you. And it's Mandron. Gives it in the middle. They could have one goal back. You never know. Wintle. I want to keep clean sheets though, boys. Come on. I'm sliding all over the place. In the wet and windy days. In crew as they have got one back. Shocker. Close post. And I wish it could have stayed 3-0. Um, yeah, he's just managed to squeeze it in. Not getting um, over complacent. I can't now as I've got one back. But... It's a bit worrying how they've done that. McEwen, come on. Oh, we just can't get rid of this ball. It's Wintle, who's on it now. Number four in the middle. He scored the goal. Gives it back to Robbins, who's been a decent playmaker. Lowry, they haven't been bad to say it's 3-1, as Holmes eventually does get the ball. Come on, let's try and see this out, shall we? Harry Clifton onto Jackson Jr. There's a ball onto Martin here somewhere, as I've gone for a little bit of a dink. That was a cross, believe it or not. Which has gone straight to Jaskalainen. Win that header, please. Get us another chance. Hartigan does. He's been a great player, him. Great acquisition. But game is over right there and then. As we win in the Papa John's Trophy. Away from home at Crew Alexandra. Great performance. But we can't get complacent, like I said. We've still got two league games to sim. Jackson Jr. with both goals. And then who was the other one? It was Danny Rose, of course, from midfield. As that is a great performance. Away against the league above team. And Jackson Jr. with another 10 out of 10. And we actually went to third in the league, was it? I just saw, yes, when we beat Oldham, we were now down to fifth. But we're going to get these two um, simulated games right. We're going to be back with the first team for them games. And so here it is. Only the two changes to this lineup as McEwen's in the goal. Hendry, Holmes, Pollock, Doig. Rose, Hewitt and Clifton for Hartigan, rather controversially, with Scannell, Jackson Jr. staying in there. And Tilly, with my strikers, I feel like every single one I play will do a job. 
like Williams definitely will in this game, but still, when he scored two goals and got an assist in the last game against league above opposition, you can't knock him out. It's the Saddlers, the team we play 13th. Uh, Walsall, can we get a win in a simulated game? Please to keep our run going away from home, and it's a 1 1 draw. We haven't had a draw in a while, and it was against 10 men, which makes it a bit bad. Adebayo with the goal just after half time, and Jackson Jr., the striker in the team, just gets a late equaliser. Rather unconvincing that one as we stay in third for the time being. And Martin's complaining that I haven't played him. I've given you every single chance that I can, Josh Martin. I think you're still in the squad, but you've got to be careful. You might be sent out on loan with an attitude like that. And you know what? Screw it. I'm going to do it straight away. I'm not taking that from a player. You are off on the loan list, Martin. I don't care what you've got to say about that. As I might do a couple of contracts as well whilst I'm here. Of course, not show you all the ins and outs about them, but some need to be done. I've got to get these two signed up, especially Elliot Hewitt and Harry Clifton, unless they want more money than they actually are on, which I might go a little bit above and beyond to try and get them signed up because of uh, their importance, but still. Want to keep them fairly low and definitely want to keep them here. So for Hewitt, I'm going to give him £100 more a week. I think that's suitable. I really do. As he wants bonuses, well, I'm not putting that appearance one. I'll give him a bonus signing it on, but I'm not putting appearance on. Because of course he's going to play. I see what the agent's sneaking on there. As I will accept that. Good. Bit of a wage rise for his best play, I think. And Harry Clifton should be rather easy to sign up as well. This guy is Grimsby through and through. He should not be going anywhere. I'll put that £100 extra for him. Although I don't reasonably think he should be on more than that, and the agent agrees with me. Good signing. And yeah, I get that they're not full signings, but they are as Spokes and Tilly, and I think it's Torre. Yes, it is Torre. Are still the ones that I am unsure about. That's because if they get poached, I'm not really too bothered about them getting poached. But still, I would want to sign them up maybe later on in the next episode, as we have one more sim in this, and I'm going to get to it. And we've actually got a, a good offer in here for Montel Gibson. It's a loan for two years, but I don't really want it to be that. At least it's not to buy for one, so I don't know why this is coming now. I think loans always go on, to be honest with you, through the season. I had a couple for Idahan, but I don't want to let him go in the uh, centre-back crisis we're on, as I want to propose a short-term. Will they go for a short-term? They will, right? They want a uh, bit of a wage split. That's good as well. I'm willing to pay a little bit. So Gibson going out for the second half of the season. That shuts down my options to Jackson Jr., Torre, and Williams. Great. Yes, I do know how good he is, but then again, we've got options shortened down and we can get another player on the bench. So, McEwen's in net for this one. Hendry Holmes and Idahan instead of Pollock, finally giving the captain a rest with Doig at left back. Just a rest as well. Hopefully, we still get the win. Just a rest with Rose in um, captain's armband duty, the captain duty in CDM as well with Hewitt and Clifton either side. New contract signed up with Wright, who looks upset. And I don't want him to be upset. He's a Grimsby player. Through and through with Tilly the same and Jackson Jr. who's content up front. But you are playing every game at your rotational. You should be a bit happier with the way you're playing as well. As we are against 21st place South End. I think it's good enough with the rotated team that we've put out. And also, if we win this, could go top of the league if everything else goes our way. It hasn't done so far. We haven't been top of the table just yet, but that could get us there. It's a 2-1 win. Great win as well. Look at the stats. With Goodship getting a late goal. Hewitt and Iden, the young centre-back, getting the first goal of the game. Love to see that. And maybe, just maybe, he has to stay in the team. I mean, Pollock's a player I don't want to kick out. He's making me make decisions now, you can see. Or maybe we'll loan Iden out because he's... He's just too good to sit in the reserves as we are up to second place for Bolton who are third. This could be a vital match in the promotion chase. I know it's not even halfway through the season yet, but still, as next episode, we have them three games and then we go into this. Oh, we've had it rearranged. That's actually pretty good. So we've got Scunthorpe later on so we can make signings for the Scunthorpe game now. And we play Leighton Orient and the Papa Johns who, of course, beat us in the Carabao. Time for revenge with that one, I think. And yeah, guys, I think that's it for now. You might have seen I've skipped a couple of days just between the last cut. It's because I've got some players to scout for. Looking for forward, sorry, to January. Some good players on my list. And I know we haven't got much money, but I think they may be cheap. I think they may be cheap, but good. Don't forget that. As unfortunately, guys, this is the end of this episode. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Notification bell on as well so you do not miss an episode in the future. Really enjoying this series. Hang on. Would you guys want me to just do this series on this channel or do you want another one? Please tell me down below. Please, please, please. As yeah, I'm thinking about just doing this one. I'm enjoying it that much. But if you want another one, yeah, fair enough. Get it down there which team I should do as well. Because I am setting one up. Then I might do it later as well. You never know because it's going to be a long one. So... 
I will see you guys in a bit tomorrow or just any time in the future. Peace.